This is where I get whatever creative work I need to get done or even if I just I haven't had one top this one yet, to be honest. Looks like I got a package. What's up, YouTube? Doing like a quick little vlog, you know, something I've, I don't think I've ever done. But I just want to show you guys my creative space. You know, this is where I get whatever creative work I need to get done or even if I just, you know, want to be in a creative environment away from my home, my wife, my kids. I don't mean that in a bad way, but... <laughs> You know, sometimes you got to switch modes. You know, this is where I do, you know, any videos I need to do as far as like the Procreate app, brushes and stuff like that. I'm sure y'all familiar with that. We got, I would like to call this like my computer room. If I need to get any like business work done, I'll get my laptop in here or whatever. <clears throat> we got a printer. We got a little vinyl cutter. We got a heat press machine, which should be on warming up about to press a shirt in a minute a little clothes rack local tattoo supply shop you know a fellow artist and this is my son's clothing brand but yeah i went to the uh shirt place yesterday i brought a couple blank tees and i brought some puffy print vinyl i'm getting ready to press up you know i'm gonna get a little creative there too not necessarily saying I'm going to start a clothing brand or anything like that, but, you know, if I'm going to represent anybody's brand, I'd rather be my own or at least my artwork, my vision. You know what I mean? And like I said, this is puffy print. We got white. I guess this is supposed to be like a, we got white. I guess it's supposed to be like a smoke gray and then black. So once you, you know, cut your design and heat press it, it'll have that puffy effect. Looks like I got a package and I didn't know till I was leaving. Yes, sir. Keep it real, don't judge my messy drawer. I need some um, storage compartments. And I broke my Imala Grand screen. I don't remember what I was doing, it was something stupid. So this is uh, some tape. It's not discolored with ink, it was black tape, but I done wiped it down with alcohol, even though I wrap it up with barrier film. <clears throat> But to be honest, right now, this is my favorite machine by far. And I know you guys are probably judging by my arsenal and saying, hey, this guy doesn't have any quality machines at all, so he doesn't know anything. And that is a lie. I've also had, uh, you know, every high-end machine, but um, don't get me wrong, they're good machines, but I haven't had one top this one yet, to be honest. And this is probably my second runner up. The, um, what is this? Dragonhawk, Dragonhawk Fold Pro. And I think the only main difference is, I don't know. I don't know if the motor's stronger in this or more consistent, or if it just has more weight so it balances out better, I don't know. But this is definitely better. And this is a close, close runner up. Amazon machine wormhole this is cool especially for shading but I don't feel like I get enough push behind my needle for lining on this and this is another dragon hawk it's taken apart uh, this is cool but it doesn't measure up to this one and definitely not definitely not this one I got to start tattoo vlogging more you guys let me know what type of content you want to see 
uh you know thumbs up like comment subscribe click the link in the description for my brush sets for my instagram uh or whatever other links i might have in there whatever info pertaining to this video but again comment like subscribe let me know what you guys want to see let me know what you want to see more of let me know what i should add in i want to get you know a little more personal with y'all